This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. So in this chapter we've looked at resizing and moving controls and formatting those controls so that they look more presentable, or pretty, colourful, etc. What you will probably want to do then at that stage, having spent time effectively setting up the report to look good, is to lock your controls in place. Now we can lock the controls in place both in their physical position and as regards to their formatting. At the moment we could quite easily take a field and move it about and reformat it to our heart's content. If however you want to stop that from happening, even inadvertently, you can lock a field. So if I undo those two steps, I select my email field as I just have done. I would like to lock both its position and its formatting. These two little icons here will do that on the formatting toolbar. This one will lock the position, so that object can now not be resized or moved. And if I try, I'm just not allowed to do it. And then I can lock its formatting, in which case I will now not be able to make it pretty. And you'll see the formatting toolbar has gone all greyed out because none of the options are available. And if I go right click, format field, Again, a lot of the options are greyed out because they're not available. So that's locking the position and locking the formatting. It's not an option that needs a password or can't be turned off. I can simply go click to turn it off and then I can start formatting. But it helps to stop accidental changes being made or when someone's trying to multiple select and they pick up that field by accident. So it's just a nice little step. I've got it right. It's in the right place. Lock its position. It looks right, it's the right format, it's the right size, then lock the formatting. And that way you cannot break it. Yes, sir, I can do the same for surname, that's not locked at all. See, they're both not depressed, which means I can resize and move about. Once I'm happy it's in its final position, I would lock it. And once I'm happy it looks right, so the formatting's right, let's change it to bold actually for the surname. Then I would lock the formatting. And you can see the formatting toolbar options are then disabled.